Elvira Barcelona. My name is Elvira Barcelona, and I am an alcoholic. <laughs> anyway, I recall, you know, referring to Billy McBride, Karen Slack, Mary from Bacon, and hack actresses. I, I reveal the intricate details of my love affair with John Moore. <laughs> It's not like anything I said last year wasn't a damn truth. <laughs> but it didn't need to be aired publicly, all right? But you've got to understand something, okay? I was angry. I was furious because I have devoted my long, laborious life to the theater, and it has gone predominantly unnoticed. I mean, ever since I was a three-year-old girl standing on street corners in New York City singing songs with my slow-box Jew father in his three-note squeeze box. <laughs> I have been begging for love by turning a tune. And you know what? I've never gotten it. I mean, sure, I've had sex. Come on, I've had plenty of sex. So much so that at this point my nether regions hang like a wizard's sleeve. <laughs> Until now, and thank you to the amazing therapeutic skills of Miss Jenny Heck, I am in rehab at Denver Health, <laughs> and I'm in the 12-step Alcoholics Anonymous program, which is what brings me here tonight. I have arrived at step eight, which is making amends. <laughs> <laughs> and so I have composed a letter to the Denver theater community as an apology for the ills and the harms that I have caused it under the influence of alcohol, and I would like, if we may, to take a moment for me to read that to you now. As you know, the theater on Broadway has often and long been a standing pillar of theatrical excellence for the Denver community. As you also know, the theater on Broadway never made money from its shows, but it did make money from bingo. <laughs> Last February, Steve Tengdahl asked me to be the guest bingo caller for the theater on Broadway. I was dry on booze and hung up for cash, and in desperation, I rigged the game. I had my asexual personal assistant Emilio in the hall with a card that I knew the numbers on, and the Colorado Lottery Police unfortunately found out about the debacle. I was arrested, the theater on Broadway lost their bingo license, and therefore their funding were forced to close. <laughs> <laughs> Most humiliating part was in jail having to admit where I'd hidden the weighted bingo ball. <laughs> on Broadway. Oh, damn it all, tank it all. Oh, screw this thing here. It's a souvenir. And for our deaf friends in the audience, for that, I am sorry. Three months ago, three months ago, as retribution for their opting not to represent me, I left on the doorstep of the radical artist's talent agency, a flaming bag of dogs. BJ, I gave him one. <laughs> For that, I have to <laughs> And as you also know, we experienced the tragic loss of another theatrical pillar, the Country Dinner Playhouse, this year. As you probably know, the Playhouse also had a very unique stage that raised and lowered on a hydraulic mechanical device. During rehearsals for Evita, I was pissed as hell at having been cast in the chorus, and so wasted off my hiney on the night of final dress rehearsals, I involuntarily urinated on the stage. <laughs> Unfortunately, I ran down into the little device where the motor controlled the hydraulic mechanism and fried it completely. <laughs> they were so old that they realized there would be no funds to repair it and they were forced to close. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the company in a playhouse went down because of me and a puddle of my own gin and urine. <laughs> And so for that, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Dear Ted, it is the new adopted policy of the Colorado Theater Guild that no actor shall be eligible for a Henry Award that does not reside in Colorado for at least six months of the year. Furthermore, we hope this does not cause any discrepancies in your company's policies, but we would like to maintain the Henry Awards as a tribute to local theater. <laughs> I then signed the letter, Gloria Sandstrom and Charlie Packer. <laughs> I left it on his doorstep along with my signature, a flaming bag of dogs. <laughs> well, you all know the drama is too out of that. Ten percent are pulled out of the Henry Awards completely. The whole town was divided, and I'm here to admit this was yet another drunken debacle by me, Elvira Barcelona. So I would like to say that for that.